Okay, so here are all the pieces I'll be using to construct the outer frame for this switching layout. And the pieces for the front and the sides are a, uh, it's basically a pine, it's, it's a uh, composite material used for uh, door jams essentially. And, uh, but it's very stable, it doesn't really warp very much and, and it's clean. So, but it works pretty well, it's lightweight. And uh, in the back I have those white boards there and those are actually stair risers that you would use if you're finishing um, or refinishing a, a staircase. And so those would be the parts going between the treads vertically. And it is all hardwood and so it's very strong uh, even though it's thin. And so I can use those uh, on the back and there's um, a lot of rigidity to them. You know, it's not very tall, only about um, seven or eight inches tall. So the backdrop will not be very high. But again, I want this to be a portable layout that I can move around easily. And so um, I don't want to have a very tall backdrop because of that. And so the way I'm assembling this is because there is sort of a groove pattern on the back of this material, I'm lining up the uh, bottom sections of the modules right along this edge here of this bottom groove. And that's gonna leave a little bit on the top above the, uh, the top of the module. Um, and, and this way, you know, when, when I add scenery and everything, it'll be pretty close to being flush um, with the top of the module sections. And so I'm just adding some uh, brads to the back to help hold things together snugly. They're very small, but it'll help hold things while the glue is drying, which is what's providing all the strength.
And so for all the joints in the uh, wood, I'll be using this DAP plastic wood to go through and fill those in. So when I do sand it, I do get a nice smooth, uh, nice smooth finish there. And this does uh, stain pretty well, so it works pretty well for, um, for those types of applications. And so the kind of thing that I'll be doing here is uh, like in this joint here, it's not, uh, it's not perfectly tight. And so I do need to go through and add a little bit of the wood putty in here. And then when I sand this uh, with the orbital sander later on, I'll get a nice smooth and uh, you know, a nice crisp looking joint here. And when I finally stain it with a darker stain, you're not really gonna be able to tell anyway that uh, it wasn't a perfect, a perfect joint there at that corner. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to be going ahead and taking um, some of this uh, one inch uh, foam board and cutting that to size to fit into the actual layout itself. Okay, so to actually secure the foam pieces to the layout, I'll be using this Loctite PL300 foam board adhesive, uh, which works pretty well. So I expect they have the backdrop covered up largely with structures and trees, but I'm going to do uh, a light blue. I'm actually kind of a mix of two blues for the backdrop. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do those two layers of blue in there to create sort of at least initial, an initial base to the, uh, to the backdrop. I'll mix in a little bit of white as well to keep it nice and light. Okay, so I have the first coat of paint on the backdrop that I already sanded that. That's in good shape. Um, I'll have to add another coat of paint there. Um, I, I've been applying some lightweight spackle to the joints of the foam board. Um, the, this lightweight spackle is kind of like the Woodland Scenics uh, foam putty, and so it's a little bit more flexible than what you know a normal uh, regular plaster would be. And I've been using that to try to level out everything so there's not any, any dips and in, in, in gaps in the foam. And so I'm basically just using a, a section of track. This uh, turnout here, um, I can place it over this uh, middle gap section here. And there's still a little bit, I can push it down slightly there. So I do still need to fix this and make it uh, a little bit smoother so I don't run into any track problems. So while this backlog is drying there on the, uh, the foam joints, I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer of paint to the, the backdrop area. And I'm just mixing a couple of colors of blue craft paint together and along with some, some white paint to kind of get something about the color that I'm looking for. Just sort of a general light blue. I want it to be a little bit lighter than this actually. So I'm adding more white than I did for the first coat. That might be okay. 
Um, and you don't really have to always mix it that good. It's actually, if you have some streakiness, it can actually look like some clouds or you know thin haze and, and, and look pretty good. So um, I'm not gonna mix it perfectly uh, uniform. I'm gonna use a bristle brush for this final coat to uh, hopefully allow me to get a little bit better of a uh, coat than the first one. So that's pretty much what I'm going after. We'll see how that looks when it dries. Um, and if I need to, I may come back and, and do another coat. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of stain on the uh, wood frame of the layout. I'm using this Minwax Poly Shades Antique Walnut. Um, I'll probably have to go ahead and, and uh, you know, maybe stain things again after all the construction is done and the layout is finished. But I do want to get a coat of stain on there now because, because when I work on the layout, I'll be using, you know, a lot of adhesives, you know, the um, scenic cement, that kind of thing. And if you get a whole bunch of, uh, you know, of that on the wood, it's going to absorb into the wood and prevent it from taking the stain very well. And so I'm going to get a coat of stain on there now. Once everything is done, I can kind of sand it and uh, reapply more stain afterwards. But because it will, there will at least be a base coat of stain, um, the final product should look a lot better. Okay, so the layout base is now more or less complete. And so uh, again, this is going to be a wall mounted shelf layout that'll be inside of our house. Um, and uh, again, so I am finishing it to look a little bit more furniture like than might otherwise be the case. And, uh, but with, now with everything pretty much ready to go, the next video will focus on putting down the micro engineering code 70 track that I'll be using for the layout and doing the initial wiring. And so we'll kind of look at that in the next video. So anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.